Hello, and welcome back to Sarah's Joyful Journey. I'm Sarah Joy, and this is Ghost. Uh, as you can see, I'm still in my work gear. We just got home a little bit ago and had to clean up after this little guy. And then we got some packages, which is what this video is about. I wanted to show you what came in the mail this week as far as updating my tea collection. Um, yes, I realize that some of you are gonna say that I have a problem. And that's fine, you're welcome to uh, keep that opinion to yourself. I am just happy to be collecting again, and I've, I've reached the point of saturation between what I've got now and what is still coming, and I won't be ordering any more tea stuff for quite some time. I need to uh, clear out space. I need to figure out a further game plan, which could include getting a new cabinet, figuring out which pieces I still would like to um, collect and things from there. But for now, I am done ordering. So once we're done with this little series of videos in the net over the next couple of weeks, there won't be any more for probably several months, if not a year. I'm gonna go ahead and pause. All right, I'm back. He's kind of quiet. We'll see how this goes. He definitely wants my attention and everything about me. So I'm gonna get ready to show you everything. There is Matt, he's just coming over to sit down. And I'm gonna share a story. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is I did get a second Royal Albert teapot. If you watched, I believe my meal prep video, it is in that video, um, but I had a tragedy. I did get a Royal Albert Old Country Roses tea set. I no longer have a teapot currently. So what had happened was I bought this set. I used it the very first time. I did it like I've done everything else. I turned on my water and my water gets to about boiling and I poured it into the teapot. Come here, buddy. The teapot cracked in several places the day after I bought it. I was so upset. Um, porcelain should be able to handle that. So I don't know if it was a result of my water being too hot or the water was hot, but what I'm thinking is that the tea uh, set was not properly stored and has been exposed to varying temperatures because China is sensitive that way and it caused a crack. So this box that's right up there currently contains the cracked teapot. I do have a plan for it. I am going to be sending it off to a lady here in Florida and she is going to make me at least one piece of jewelry out of it. So the package is good with the teapot is gonna go off to a lady in Pensacola. And again, she's gonna make me a piece of jewelry or two. We're gonna see, we're gonna see how it goes. Um, it's gonna be either a necklace or a bracelet, bracelet or both. So I thought that was a great use of it. I did find someone on Etsy selling the teapot by itself. The sad thing is I paid just about the same price as I paid for the set. So it was a very expensive um, mistake. I was so upset that day um, just because I didn't realize, you know, that there would have been an issue. So we'll get started. Hang on, I've got to move a few things because I have one of my things a little bit close to the edge of my coffee table. All right, so that I have now two full tea sets. Um, well, I had two full tea sets. I now have one and a half and the other half is coming to make two full tea sets and I've ordered some other things too. All right, so tea sets. I am so excited to show you everything. I'm gonna flip the camera around and I will show you everything that there is so you can see what it is and then we'll go through the pieces individually. This is everything that I got this week. It was quite a big haul. Some of this has been ordered over the past couple of weeks because it's come from Canada and it just kind of all arrived. My Royal Albert Old Country Rose teapot has shipped. So hopefully that will be here in the next few days. The next thing I'm going to show you is I'm gonna start with this. It's most of a set. I have five of the six colors. The sixth color has been ordered so that I'll have it. 
And if you follow my TikTok, they are on my TikTok account already. This is the Gaiety series. So this color right here is called Two Step and it's just a beautiful, beautiful set. I love everything about it. If you watched my last tea collection video, you would realize that I had Tango, which is this one, and I told you I was getting a, a set of them and that Tango was originally gonna go to my mom. So my mom will be getting her shortly and I now have my Tango. Then we also have this beautiful one in green. This one is Waltz. And I absolutely love these pieces. Then we have this beautiful one. This is a nice light blue. This one is called Minuet. So I love that they're all musical inspired. And then this, we have this beautiful pink one, which we already know how I feel about pink china. And as you will see, I have a thing clearly for pink china. This is Valletta. So there's that beautiful set. All right. Then when I bought the tea set, the Old Country Rose tea sets from the lady, she brought this next Royal Albert cup with her and wanted to see if I wanted it. So I said, yes. So this is a beautiful, it's something very different. Um, the color is not quite show, it's showing more black right here, but it's a beautiful cobalt blue. And just look at all that gold. And there's lovely orange and yellow roses in there. I love it. This is called Derby is the name of this pattern. So this one is very different than other things that I have in my collection, other than it is Royal Albert. Okay, I'm gonna have to reach, so excuse me. In my original video, I also told you that I had a series called Blossom Time, and I had four of the six pieces for that. I now have the remaining two pieces and I'm realizing there's a little bit of difference in this. Okay, these may be from different eras. Ah, uh, well, it is what it is. Okay, so I got this one. So the front of the teacup is right here. It has more in here and then on the back. This one is with Wisteria. And then the plate or the saucer is right here. And I love that it's got that bluish color around the edge. So just a gorgeous teacup. And this next one is called Hawthorne. And this one's different because it's got gold around it. I would have expected it to be more of like a glaze, colored glaze like the other ones. So this one is, stands out as very different, but it is still part of the Blossom Time series. So for the front of the teacup, we have this right here. And we have the inside and the back and the gorgeous saucer. That is that. Um, this one I was kind of, I was excited to see it pop up because I haven't seen this one pop up too often. I'm slightly disappointed in it, but it's gonna stay for now. I'm disappointed in it because it is very chunky. It's anything but fine and delicate. Usually when I get bone china, they have a very fine and delicate look to them, which is part of the appeal for me. But this one is going to be a variation of Old Country Roses. I believe it is a chintz. Um, but as you can see, it is quite beefy. Look how thick that cup is. 
very, very thick. It is beautiful though. I love all the pink and I love that it's got the pink and the red and the yellow roses that are the symbol of old country roses anyway. Um, so I'm excited, but not excited because I wasn't expecting it to be that beefy of a cup. Excuse my reach. One more time, I gotta get a little further. And to carry on with more pink in my collection, we have another beautiful one. This one is from a love story series. I have not seen too many others of these, so eventually I will add to this series, but it's gonna be quite some time before I do, because again, I said I'm busting at the seams, and I've already had to clean out some space and get rid of some things to make room. But this is Valerie. Isn't she gorgeous? What I love about this one is that it's got gray right along with the pink. So I would say that purple is definitely my favorite color, followed by I love a lot of gray and I love pink. And to me, to putting these two together is just amazing. The inside of the teacup does have the pattern carried inside, or at least a variation of it. And here's the saucer. So we've got the pink, the gray, and then more pink roses. So it's just stunning. Um, Royal Albert does roses really, really well. I think a lot of, most of their stuff has roses on it. Then I have two more uh, saucers and cups that I am going to show you. Last time I told you I had two Tuscan in my collection and I had decided that I'm just going to add that to collecting, but I'm putting a parameter on it. I am allowed to collect Tuscan only if it's pink. So now I have ordered two other pieces. They, um, this first one I show, I'm going to show you is does not have a name to it, but it's another demi toss. Although this demi toss is slightly bigger than my other one, so this is the back of the saucer or the cup. This is the front. I love the pale pink of this. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's hand painted. When you, I rub my hands over it, I can feel all these little uh, dots as the center of the flowers. And then here is the saucer. And I love that it's got like a little dragonfly. Yeah, it's a little dragonfly, which I adore dragonflies. So I'm really excited that ha that has a nod to it. All right, the puppies are still playing. So they are pretty active when we get home because they've been cooped up or at least Ghost has been cooped up in a pen. This next one that I'm going to show you is also a Tuscan and I fell head over hills in love with it. This one is called June Glory. It is one of the most beautiful teacups I have ever seen. So it's again, it's that pale pink that Tuscan does really well. Not all of their stuff is that pink. Um, but it's gorgeous. So we've got the Monarch Butterfly, the More Flowers, beautiful gold work. Then we have flowers on the back and flowers on the inside. Then for the saucer, we have another beautiful hand-painted butterfly. It's gorgeous and I, I absolutely love it. I think as far as teacups go, I don't think I have anything else coming. I don't think I have any other teacups coming. I know I have the Old Country Roses teapot coming and I have a, another tea set coming and I have, the next thing I'm gonna show you is what is called Tea for Ones. I currently have two. Um, I have a couple more coming. Uh, and I think I have a Royal Albert mug coming because the print was pink and beautiful and I couldn't let it go. So this is what is called a tea for one. I have you got this one first the other day. I've used it a couple times. It's really cool because you have this adorable mini teapot 
a very large, generous teacup and a beautiful saucer. This one is called Polka Rose. So it's got the group, the minty green, which is a different color for me, but I do like it. And then we've got the roses inside. What I have found is this teapot holds about one and a half of these giant cups. So I am loving these. These ones, my tea for ones are not actually sitting in my cabinet. The plan is those are gonna be my go-to uses for tea. I will use my bigger pots at times, um, especially like on days off when I have more time. And then my second tea for one just came today. So I haven't even had time to use it, but this is called Polka Blue. Let me double check that on here. I just wanna make sure, but I'm pretty sure this is Polka Blue. Yeah, this is Polka Blue. So it's a very similar to the other one, which is why I wanted to add it to the collection. It's that blue. And then I, what I love about this one is this one has the roses all over everything, not just on the lid and on the inside. Um, which is kind of sort of the opposite. We've got our little teapot. And then on this mug, there is nothing on the inside, which is, like I said, it's, it's a nice different variation of the two. They coordinate very, very well. And they are just about the cutest things I have ever seen. So I am super excited to have those in my collection. I, as you can see, I got very excited about being able to add to my collection that I may have gone, I will confess it, a little overboard, a little overboard. Um, but I'm so happy to have it and I can't wait till the remaining pieces show up. Again, I have another tea set coming, which I can't wait to show you. And I have the two more tea for ones coming and it's going to be lovely. And then I will be able to form a game plan eventually of how I want to continue my collection uh, because I do want to continue my collection. I've got to take in consideration space, where I can store it and what I want to, it to look like overall. I know something that I would love to do and may do towards the end of the year is I would love to have like a service for four, not necessarily of this pattern, but just a service for four, like four or five five piece settings. Uh, it would make sense if I went with Royal Albert Old Country Roses because I have a five piece setting. The other thing I might do is there's the set that's called Friendship by, um, Miranda Kerr, I showed you the joy in a video. I might get a four piece setting of that. And then they have the supplementary ones like joy and other things. So that might be something that I would do. Um, but I currently have service for like eight to 10 for Fiesta wear. And I want to keep, I want to keep it as our kind of everyday plates, but I want to throw in the China so that those can be our everyday, a mix of our everyday plates too. But again, I haven't figured out how that's going to, what that's going to look like, um, how I want to move forward with that. Do I want to cut down the Fiesta wear and stuff like that? So I definitely have some room for doing some planning and figuring some things out, but I am super happy with my collection and I'm sure my husband is happy that I'm going to be taking a break for a while. He didn't answer, so, but um, yeah. Uh, it, it will be nice to uh, catch up and breathe and enjoy the collection in it as it's going to be standing. Um, but we'll have one more video, maybe two, depending on when things actually ship, where I will show you my passion for Royal Albert porcelain and collecting China, as well as using it. it they're something that just brings me a lot of joy and I take no shame in that. I'm excited. You can think I'm addicted. You can think I'm crazy. That's fine. Just keep those comments to yourself um, because this is something that, like I said, it, it brings me joy and it's I'm not hurting anyone with it. 
All right, I am going to wrap this up so I can get out of my work clothes and put all the stuff away. And I think I'm going to get some dinner and have some tea in my teapot. I have some other ideas that I would like to do for this channel over the next coming months that will involve my collection. So if you want to see more content like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, hit that bell notification. So every time I'm talking about China and tea, you'll be alerted to it. Have a wonderful and joyful day. Bye for now.